Target is fucking awesome. It's also pretty cheesy, but goddamn is it badass. John Woo is arguably the best shooter director of all time. There are some who come close, but for my money, no one beats him in the bullet opera arena. Now that's an opinion, but get ready for a fact. He is definitively one of the best action filmmakers to ever yell cut. You can't argue with that, it's science. It's fun to not love his movies, but if we say he doesn't cut a goddamn good action sequence, you're fucking lying. Yeah, this is higher energy than a lot of the other videos on here. Hard Target was John Woo's first American film made just one year after his magnum opus Hard Boiled. I don't think making two movies in a row with hard in the title was intentional, but who knows, maybe there was going to be a hard trilogy, I'd watch it. Usually when a Chinese action maestro makes the transition into American filmmaking, things tend to go downhill. There's a clear indefinable downgrade from the action highs of the Jackie Chans and the Jet Lees of Chinese productions versus their American productions. There are a lot of reasons for this. Insurance problems and liability restrictions, inferior directors, differing target audiences with different projected tastes. There are exceptions to the rule, but it's pretty consistent across the board. John Woo isn't really even an exception here. His own films took a bit of a hit on the American side. Some of them, anyway. Face Off has a much-deserved cult following and is badass and goofy in equal measure. It's great, but I like Hard Target even more. There's so much to love in Hard Target, and the film's shortcomings, which are plentiful admittedly, add a considerable degree of both charm and schlock. You can watch Hard Target as a legit action film or as a good-bad movie and be equally entertained. Not many films can say that. I mean, Roadhouse, sure. Pain don't hurt. Some of the acting is pretty bad, a lot of it actually, but hey, no one's ever accused John Woo of being an actor's director. And the film's not even in his native language. Neither is it Jean-Claude Van Claude's native language. This just might be Van Damme's best role, by the way. Creole drifter with a sweaty mullet and earring and a duster jacket can solve any problem you throw at him with a kick or a gun, or both. Sometimes a gun and then a kick for no reason other than he felt like it, I guess. <laughs> Sometimes he kicks when a gun would make a whole lot more sense. Jean-Claude Van Claude's athleticism is on full display and his commitment to the stunt work is definitely admirable. It's him falling off that horse. It's him doing that wheelie on that motorcycle. There aren't many U.S. action stars with that level of stunt commitment these days. Keanu Reeves is the outlier. Lance Henriksen makes for a great bad guy. He's always good and he gets to really ham it up in Hard Target. Highlight for him is when his jacket catches on fire and he shakes it off and keeps going. And that's him on fire for quite a long time, too. Usually when you see a burn on film, by the way, the way that they do it is they slather up a stuntman with this fire-resistant gel. But there ain't no gel on my man Henny. He plays the piano, too, just to ignore the fact that the lid is down when he turns around. His main henchman is crazy. Not, like, psychotic, but, like, linguistically crazy. I don't know, it's weird. His accent changes from line to line. Actually, that's not true. It changes mid-line. He'll start a line sounding British, then finish it sounding Russian or Australian or Eastern European. It's, it's ridiculous. The female lead isn't very good, but do you know who is pretty goddamn good? Wilfred freaking Diabetes Brimley. Such an odd casting choice for a Bayou Creole speaking moonshiner. The weird thing is he works perfectly and is actually pretty badass. I bet Wilfred Brimley never expected that at any point in his career he would be on horseback with a bow and arrow riding away from an explosion. I don't think that was on his vision board. Hard Target has got all of the John Woo staples. It's got slow motion and dual handguns and slow motion and doves and pigeons and slow motion and instant replays and diving through the air shooting and slow motion and two guys shooting at each other through a wall of glass and more slow motion. The action is fantastic. Wu is in top form of the shootouts, always perfectly choreographed, filmed, executed, and edited. He uses bigger blasts and more squibs than anyone in the game, and it pays off big time. Van Damme hits a helicopter with a chrome shotgun while on horseback. He woos a lady, and while she's swooning, he snatches a snake from over her shoulder and punches it unconscious. does multiple flips over explosions slash fire. He descends on a winged parade float and shoots the shit out of the bad guys. He stands on top of a speeding motorcycle, crashes it into an oncoming truck, leaps over said truck, then blows it up. He 
catches a flaming plank of wood and locks eyes with the main bad guy before dropping a grenade down his pants. Those are just some of the over-the-top badass moments in the action spectacle that is Hard Target. You can punch my snake anytime, Johnny. This film will put you in a good mood. Check out Hard Target if you've never seen it. And if you have, maybe it's time to revisit. Make sure you subscribe here. Stick around for more stuff. I'll see you in the next video. And yeah, this is what I sound like. This is just my voice all the time. Get over it or go away.